great audiences, very receptive. But the one that was most troubling for me was actually David Copperfield. <laughs> David asked me to do a show for him and his staff. Me, do magic for the world's greatest magician and impress him. Talk about stress. This is like being the guy asked to paint the inside of Michelangelo's house. <laughs> now what kind of a ceiling are you going to do for him? So I thought to myself, he's a smart, intelligent man, he loves magic. Go with the classics of magic, go right to the basics of magic. He will respect me for that because the classics will last forever, right? right. Yes. And I went out there and I did the show for David and his staff and I impressed him with the classics like, Look at my finger, look at my finger. <laughs> the one he was really impressed with, I was surprised he never saw before. Got your nose. Got your nose. He still thinks I have it. 